um, to zoom in, hold down control and scroll up where you want to zoom in. And I'm going to go ahead and just make this adjustment really quick. Let's see. That's just like wind blowing. Not really necessary. Might even want to cut up up to here because that's really where the music starts. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Lick on these nuts and suck the dick. Let's get the fuck. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this little intro. So like an eight measure intro. Bitches ain't shit. Yeah, because it's got that little phrase there. So I'll go ahead and just um, cut it right up to where it starts. Make it pretty damn close. Come on. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and trim up. Back to the beginning. So you're just going to select the um, the part that you want to delete. Go ahead and hit delete on your keyboard and it'll delete it automatically. Alright, so now it's a lot more um, music in there instead of that wind stuff. Um, so let's see. Now we have to get rid of all this excess stuff. And we're going to do that by go ahead and zoom it out a little bit. And um, if you just kind of go along this line, go to the next file, click and hold down, it kind of automatically snaps it to the end of uh, the uh, original audio file. And just select all the way back here and let go. Now you can hit delete. And it'll, it'll delete everything just beyond that line of the second one. So now you have matching durations. Um, but in game, um, if you don't fade it out, it's just going to kind of like cut off abruptly and it might actually pop, which you really don't want. Um, so what I always recommend doing is to um, do some fade ins and fade outs. The fade outs are really essential. But I want to go ahead and start doing a fade, a really tight fade in because I don't want anything to pop. And the way you make that happen, I'm just gonna select like barely any sound files right here. Like, it's just like a few samples worth of audio. So go to effect and fade in. It just does a little fade in just to make sure that it starts off at zero dB, okay? So we got that out of the way. Now we're going to go to the end here and do a slow fade out. Let's see. Okay. So it looks like this will probably be a good, let's see. That'll probably be a good position to start fading out. So we'll go ahead and do a fade out here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select from there to the end effect and fade out. It'll automatically fade it out and make sure at the very end it's at zero dB and you won't get a pop. So we'll go ahead and listen to this back, make sure it's everything that we want. So that sounds that sounds pretty good. I think that's appropriate. Um, so when you actually get to the end of the credits, if it actually um, gets to that point, um, it won't just like immediately cut out and sound kind of weird. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm thinking. I'm not sure. It might be a little low. I want to might consider doing an amplify to make sure that it's loud enough. But what I'll do to reference it is going to take the solo off and solo the original file. Play it from the beginning. Might, this the original file might actually be a little bit lower, so that's actually just fine. Um, so you can go ahead and reference the whole, the whole thing, um, 
and make sure it's exactly what you want. If you're completely happy with it, you can safely go ahead and delete this whole track, the original track from the uh, from Audacity. Don't don't delete the actual um, audio file from your Steam folder because that'd be really bad. Um, so go ahead and delete this track, and uh, we're gonna get get ready to export this. But before we do that. What we want to do is go ahead and go to your desktop and we're going to make um, a new folder. So just kind of right click any space, new folder. Name it something relevant to your mod. And mine's going to be bitches ain't shit. Uh, ben Folds. Well, maybe not Ben Folds. How about um, bitches ain't shit end credits? Yeah. All right. So now we got that. Um, now we're going to go ahead and make a bunch of subfolders within this. And essentially what we're doing is we're recreating the, um, the, uh, the, um, directory from sound onward. Um, so just within this left for dead two folder. Um, so the first, the first, um, folder you want to make is sound. So new folder sound make sure like the even the um like the capitalization and the actual letters are exactly the same so go here sound um it's, otherwise um steam won't actually recognize it that's really important um so the next folder we need to get to is music all right so go in here, make another folder that says music. Again, make sure it's the same, exact same thing. Uh, next is unalive. Go in here, new folder, unalive. Okay, and here. All right, so that's where your, the original file is at. So now what you wanna do is go into Audacity and you're going to export file export or control shift e and you're going to locate the the uh, folder that's located on your desktop so go to desktop and here's the folder that you just created which is bitches ain't shit sound uh music unalive and this is where the blank space is and you're going to save um this the you're going to export it right here and what you want to be sure is that it's named exactly the same um, as the the original file. So let's see, the original file is the monsters within dot wave. So you want to make sure it says the monsters within, and then the dot wave part is kind of determined by the save as type wave. Um, so go ahead and save it. You can just click OK. If you want to edit the metadata, like the artist name and shit like that, you can do that. Go ahead and press OK. It shouldn't take long to make the file. And there it is. So you kind of have like this faux folder um, that recreated the directory for your Steam. You can play it back to make sure it's your new music. Yeah, okay, so that sounds that sounds good. Um, so we're almost done here. Um, you can quit Audacity. Um, you can save this just to have a backup of this file if you ever wanted to change anything. Uh, I'm not going to because typically, uh, because this is a, a dot, um, dot wave, it's a lossless audio um, format, I'll just, I can always re-import this back into Audacity and make any changes I want. Um, so we're, we're fine there. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to need is uh, it's called a um, add-on info.txt and it's kind of essential for every sound mod or mod that you that you make. Um, and it's going to be located right here uh, just in the root of this folder on your desktop right next to sound. And I'm going to uh, leave a link um, to download a template for the for the add-on info.txt. 
um, the way I get it, I have a bunch of other mods that I made. So, <clears throat> let's see. I have this mod folder that I have. And I have the add-on info for this one. So, I have all the information here. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and just simply copy this over. Copy. Paste. But you won't actually have to do that because you won't have the, the uh, info. Just simply download it um, from the link I give you. It'll probably be a, a like a up a mega link or a uh, media fire link, and um, save it to your root folder. Um, so you want it right next to that sound. Um, it's gonna be the same file name. Open it up. <clears throat> Yours will have like no information, but the only ones that you do want to edit you want to make sure that you leave the steam app id is 550 basically leave everything the same except for add-on title which is going to be the title of your mod um, add-on version probably going to be one point or 1.0 because it's your first uh, version uh tagline doesn't matter uh author it's just going to be whatever your display name you want it to be whether it's your steam id or not steam id is going to be your steam id um, and then description is just, you can make a little, uh, quick district description as to what the mod actually does or what it's about. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just delete this stuff. Uh, I guess I'll call it bitches, bitches ain't shit. Um, and credits. Um, should I put Ben Folds? It's kind of important because it is a Dr. Dre song, but it's a parody. Hmm. No, I'll leave that in the description. Um, my author name's the same. Steam ID is the same. And I'll delete this. Oh God, don't be, don't be like that. Okay, let's do this. All right, yeah. S stop it. All right. Okay. Now I guess I'll just leave a quick description. I don't know. Um, uh, plays bitches ain't shit by Ben Doctor Dre. This is the Ben folds version version yeah okay so that's oh i want to mention that it's the end credits uh for end credits music music spell correctly asshole okay <clears throat> So that's good enough. Um, now, after you're done, um, you know, editing all the information, just click uh, file and save it. And then that'll be your new add-on. So every time you open up the add-on, it'll have all that information now. So you're pretty much ready um, for it to be uploaded to Steam Workshop. Now let's go ahead and do that. 